My name is LeVar and I'm HIV positive. I've been living with HIV since 2009. Are you taking your medication? Yes, ma'am. I'm taking my medication. Any missed doses? About a week. Um, why did you miss a week's worth of your medication? Because I left it at home. I was out of town. You left it at home. It is important for people living with HIV and AIDS to be adherent to their antiretroviral therapy um, for several reasons. The most important is to improve their overall quality of life. The other important reason for people who are living with HIV and AIDS to take their antiretrovirals is they are less likely to transmit the virus because it is dormant in their system and not likely to cause any clinical problems for them. The availability of antiretroviral therapy, or ART, has transformed HIV from being an acute disease to a chronic condition that can be managed over time for many people living with HIV. Given the availability of mobile phones in the U.S. and the fact that more than 80% of American adults own a mobile phone, we were interested in investigating whether mobile technology could be leveraged to help people support and manage their own chronic illnesses over time. I was the principal investigator of a study funded by ARC that looked at using text messaging to improve patient outcomes and quality among people living with HIV. For this study, we chose to focus on men who have sex with men, or MSM, living with HIV. The text messages could be tailored based on participants' responses to a pre-intervention survey. Messages focused on medication adherence, appointment reminders, social support, reduction of sexual and substance use risk behaviors, and general health and wellness. A provider like Dr. Collins Ogle may be interested in applying the intervention with her patients. She's very interested in making sure that her patients are adherent to their medications and are in care. Dr. Urich's tailored text messaging intervention would be an excellent asset to any practice, particularly taking care of people with HIV, because many of our patients don't have a landline or a home phone. So now cell phones are like the most stable tool that we have to be able to communicate. And not only do all patients have cell phones, but so do the providers, so do the support staff. You can forget very easily, you know, once you get around friends or whatever, you go out partying or whatnot, and you forget to take your medicine. But uh, once you receive that text message on your phone to remind you, it's, it's a very helpful tool. Mobile technology is likely only to grow and therefore to become a more acceptable and common way or medium to reach people with health behavior change interventions. Findings from our study suggest that tailored text messaging can help patients manage their own chronic condition over time. Patients felt that the intervention made them really think that their providers cared about them and that they were concerned about their health. And I think that's one of the most rewarding aspects for a researcher as well, when you see how the interventions that we develop touch people's lives.